Just got this in guys, so I figured pop it open and give you a look at what's inside. And what's inside is a candy apple metallic red SEMA. Um, this is a X5UW with a 720p Wi-Fi camera. And look at the shine on that. You can't beat a paint job like that. Um, this is basically an upgrade to your standard X5 series. They've given a more sleek, uh, rounded design, push button toggle. Um, you have a battery that is very specific for it, which they gave, uh, I have two in here and that's just going to slide right in the body. Let's see. We could probably do this with one hand here. So we're just going to put that like that. And as you can see, you have little connectors there. That little red connector is going to go on that side with the red connector. And then you will just push in your pro your landing gear is already on. So, uh, all you have to do is press that button then and bind your controller. You will need uh, batteries in your controller, but for the time being, we will shut that off. Underneath it, you have your cell phone holder, because the camera that does come with it, which is right here, is Wi-Fi, so you can have uh, FPV via Wi-Fi, and uh, there's that right there. So we'll definitely look at that. There looks to be an SD card in it, so it's probably going to record to the camera, which is awesome because transmission through Wi-Fi to cell phone usually doesn't give off the 720p that it's rated. You have extra blades here. You have your controller. Um, this right here is actually going to go on the back of the controller. And what you will do is just pop that off, and then you'll slide this in, which I might even be able to do with one hand. If I can, we'll do it on cam. That way you guys can see how simple it is. Uh, again, I'm doing this all with one hand here. Bam. That's simple. One hand and that's what your controller will look like then. Um, what else do we have? We have propeller guards, which I'm not going to use. I don't fly in the house too often. I'm generally outside and they're no good for outside. And again, you have your micro SD to USB. So again, I'm thinking it's going to record on the camera. Uh, you have your charger in there as well as a little screwdriver. And there's the other battery right there. So, uh, we're going to get this all together, which this, the camera looks like it's just going to pop on the bottom. Yeah, it's going to pop in there and probably spin lock. Uh, definitely can't do that by uh, one hand, but we'll get that on and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, exactly as I said, this does just kind of pop in and spin locks. You want to make sure the front of the camera is facing the opposite direction of the battery because that will be your front. Um, there is a micro SD card in there. It's 4 gig. Myself, I prefer to use like a 16, uh, class 10, that'll give you the best uh, frame rate um, speed for recording, and it'll give you the best picture. As you can see here, they've done something a lot of the manufacturers failed to do, is uh, keep the motor gears and the propeller gear enclosed, which is very good. That way you don't have to worry about dirt and debris getting in there really, um, and screwing up your motors and having them bind, and then you have to replace the motor quicker. So, uh... Yeah, it's really nice. Definitely gonna get this out in the air. But as far as uh, as far as the unboxing goes here, I'm I'm pretty impressed. I mean, the regular SEMA, the X5C, I have the X5C, I have the altitude hold one as well. They all have your standard blah look to it. I'm gonna say, <laughs> which everybody cloned. This this is a fresh look on the SEMA, and uh, I'm definitely digging it. So hopefully that camera is uh, something decent, and hopefully it gets decent range, and we'll have a good quadcopter here. All right, hope this helps somebody. Hope uh, this was informative.